I sat there with nervous excitement at the table in the restaurant. It was the first time my boyfriend was going to meet my family. We had been dating for a few weeks now and he was everything I'd ever dreamt of. He was good looking, funny, and one of the most popular boys in the school. I couldn't believe it when he asked me to go out with him. I just hoped that my family would like him as much as I did. Tom leaned over to me and whispered in my ear, Oh my God, you're not gonna believe this. The ugliest girl I've ever seen in my life just walked in. I turned to see who Tom was looking at. Who? I asked him. Over there, he said pointing. See the girl with the red top on? The blood drained from my face. Tom was pointing at my identical twin sister. But before I go on, make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any more shocking stories. My mom, dad, and sister came over to our table. This is Tom, I said to them. Tom, this is my mom, dad, and my identical twin, Diana. Tom shook my dad's hand. Hi there, he said, full of charm. He turned to me and whispered, Dude, do you say identical? You don't look anything like her. Oh, I do when I take my makeup off, I replied. Tom just <laughs> left, but I felt terrible. The rest of the evening went really well for the others. I think that my family really liked Tom. My dad paid the bill and we got up to leave. Do you want to come back to our house and watch a movie? I asked Tom. Oh, sorry, Michelle, I can't, he said. I need to get home. I have so much stuff to do. Okay, see you in the morning. Tom's really nice, said Mom as we drove home. Yes, a very polite young man, said Dad. Yes, I think so too. I said happily, although what he had said about my identical twin sister was still imprinted in my mind. The next morning, I went downstairs to the kitchen. Your breakfast is ready, Mom said. I haven't got time for breakfast, I said. I'm meeting Tom to walk to school together. I walked to the corner and stood there waiting for Tom. I kept on looking at my watch. It was getting late. If he didn't come soon, I would have to leave or I would be late for school. I decided I would give him five more minutes, but he still didn't show up. So I walked to the school alone. I hoped he wasn't sick. I hoped it wasn't something he'd eaten at the restaurant last night. But when I walked through the school gates, I saw Tom standing with his friends on the other side of the playground. Tom, where were you? I asked. I've been waiting ages for you. Oh, stop bothering me. He said nastily. His friends started laughing. I thought he was probably stressed about something, so I decided I would just leave him alone. I would just talk to him later on at break time. The morning lessons seemed to really drag. I couldn't wait for the bell to go for break. Eventually, I heard the ringing of the bell. I stuffed my books into my bag and ran off to go and find Tom. He was standing in the corner with his friends. They were talking to a group of girls. I went over to Tom. Hi there, I said. What do you want? He asked. I didn't know why he was acting so strange towards me, but I just said, uh, do you want to go grab a Coke with me? No thanks, he replied. Oh, and by the way, you're dumped. The girls started giggling. No way am I going to be with someone who is that ugly when they take their makeup off, he cried. I was so embarrassed. I wished that the ground would open up and swallow me. I turned away from him so that he couldn't see that my eyes had filled up with tears. I ran out of the room. I could still hear him and his friends laughing at me as I ran into the corridor. I hadn't gotten very far when I bumped into my twin sister, Diana. What's wrong? She asked. Why are you crying? I told her how Tom just dumped me in front of everyone. He thinks we're both ugly, I told her. He's the one who is ugly, Diana said. He is ugly inside. What a horrible piece of work he is. Don't worry, he is going to pay for this. One day we will get our revenge on him. It wasn't long after that we got our chance to get him back. Our school was holding a talent contest. They had put a notice on the board. And if you wanted to enter, you just had to add your name to the list, saying what your talent was. I went to have a look at the board. Sure enough, the first name on the list was Tom's. He had written that his talent was playing the guitar. I went to look for Diana. I knew Tom would enter the talent contest, I told her. He is such a show off. I knew he wouldn't be able to resist being in the spotlight. I bet he thinks he'll win. I already had a plan worked out. I told Diana all about it. We will both climb the ladder to the deck above the stage, I said. Then, when Tom comes on, we will drop slime and feathers on top of his head. On the night of the talent show, Diana and I made sure we got to the stage early. We climbed the ladder and waited on the deck. Finally, it was Tom's turn to perform. He walked onto the stage with his guitar. He was smiling. He looked so confident that he was going to be the winner. As he was about to start playing, I shouted down to him. Hey, Tom, this is for calling my sister ugly. With that, Diana tipped the bucket of green slime straight on top of his head. I quickly threw the bucket of feathers right after her. He looked horrified. Slime was dripping down his face and feathers were stuck all over him. Everyone in the audience was laughing. Tom looked so embarrassed. He ran off the stage and out of the room, leaving a trail of feathers behind him. It was a few weeks after that, Diana started acting a bit odd. 
I wondered what was the matter with her. Usually we spent lots of time together, but recently she never seemed to have any time for me. She didn't even hang around with me at school. One day I decided that I had had enough. I decided I would go and find Diana and make her have lunch with me. I was walking towards the dining room when suddenly I saw Diana. She was talking to Tom. I wondered what on earth was going on. Diana was giggling at something Tom had said, but then he winked at her. I couldn't believe it. Tom was flirting with Diana and she seemed to be lapping it up. How can she do this to me? I thought. I went striding over to them. What are you two doing? I cried. Diana looked a little guilty, but she just put her head down. What does it look like we're doing? Replied Tom. I'm dating your sister now. Is it true, Diana? I asked. She nodded her head. I'm sorry, Michelle, she said. We just fell for each other. No hard feelings. I stormed off. I couldn't believe it. I was never going to forgive them for this. When Diana came home from school, I went into her room. How can you do this to me? I asked her. You know how horrible he was to me. I can't help who I fall in love with, she said. You're just going to have to deal with it. I don't want anything more to do with you. I screamed at her. Well, it's lucky that I have Tom then, isn't it? She shouted back. I heard the door slam and I watched as she went down the street. Tom was waiting for her at the corner. I saw him put his arms around her and pull her towards him. She started talking to him. I bet she's telling him everything I just said, I thought to myself. It was about an hour later when I heard the door open. I went downstairs and saw that Tom and Diana were in the lounge. As I went into the room, Tom pulled out his telephone and started videoing himself. Hey guys, he said. How cool am I? I used to date her. He pointed the camera at me. They tried to prank me and now I'm dating her twin sister. He was literally vlogging this. At that moment, I couldn't believe I had ever fallen for him. I looked at the camera. Oh, no, I exclaimed sarcastically. My sister has betrayed me. But then Diana knocked the phone out of Tom's hands. You're wrong, she said to him. You're the one that has been betrayed, Tom. Tom looked at her in confusion. What do you mean? Do you remember the night we were at your house and we sat up talking all night? She asked. Well, I secretly recorded everything you said. Tom's face turned white. He looked at me. I told him how we had it all on tape. How he had said so many mean things about everyone at school. He had even said that he hated anyone who was fat or ugly. He thought that only good looking people like him should be allowed out into the world. We're gonna publish the recording online, I told him. When everyone hears what you have said, no one will want anything to do with you ever again. What are you talking about, Tom said. I would never say anything like that. Why are you trying to deny it when we have the proof? Asked Diana. So let me hear it then, said Tom. We played him the recording. As he listened to it, his face fell. You're right, he said. It definitely sounds like me, but I promise you, I would never say anything so mean. Yes, you would, I said. Don't you remember the night you met my parents? You said my sister was so ugly. But I've never met your parents, Tom replied. The night we were supposed to go to that restaurant to meet them, I ended up sick in bed with a stomach bug. I told my brother to call you and let you know. I was confused, but I felt sure he was lying. Okay, well, what about when you dumped me in front of all your friends? That was so mean. Are you serious? He asked. You're the one who dumped me. I woke up late that morning, and by the time I got to the corner to meet you, you had already left. I ran to school. I felt so bad. When I got there, my brother told me that you had dumped me. I was so sad. I looked at Diana. There was no way we could trust Tom. He was a horrible guy, and I knew he was just trying anything to stop us from putting the recording out online. Don't believe him, Diana. He's only interested in himself, I said. Okay, said Tom. I understand you're suspicious, but please just come with me and I'm sure I can explain everything. I looked at Diana. I wasn't sure what she would do, but she nodded at me. Okay, I said. You have one chance to explain yourself or this is going viral. Diana and I followed Tom. We went to his house. What are we doing here? I asked him. Just wait and see, he said. We followed him inside. Come this way. We went through to the lounge. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. There sat on the couch was Tom. Well, it wasn't Tom exactly, because Tom was with us, but it was someone that looked exactly the same as Tom. I looked at Diana. She was looking just as confused as I was. Meet my brother Tim, said Tom. Tim looked up. His face dropped. Yes, said Tom. We know what you've been up to. I guess you already know Michelle and Diana. We waited for Tim to say something, but he just sat there with his mouth wide open in surprise. Why would you do something so horrid? Asked Tom. Tim, you can't just go around saying people are ugly. Oh, shut up, Tom. You're just an idiot, snapped Tim. Tom looked at me and Diana. 
I'm so sorry, girls. I totally understand if you don't want anything to do with me ever again. I looked at Diana and she looked at me. I knew she was thinking exactly what I was thinking. Tom, I said, we have both loved you and we still do now. Maybe we can all just be good friends. Tom smiled. That sounds like the perfect solution. A voice broke through our happiness. I cannot believe that you have come out of this still smelling of roses, screamed Tim. I hate you so much. Tom, Diana, and I linked arms and walked out of the house. See you later, Tim, we shouted. We're going out for some fun.